What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. The big story making the rounds in the Dokkan community today is this crazy news article from Yahoo Japan about people who were arrested for modding in Dokkan. I want to give a big shout out to The Truth because I believe he was the first person to share this news on his Twitter account. Now I want to start off by saying that the headlines can be a little misleading. It's more complicated than just the Japanese police are arresting people for using mods in a mobile game. By the way, if you're one of those people who have used mods from websites like DBZ Space, you can rest easy. You won't get arrested. So what you see on the screen right now is a Google translated version of the original Japanese article. I'm gonna try my best to break it down for you guys, but I wanna be clear that some of the details might be a little bit off because of the rough translation. So here are the basic details of the article. Some people were either arrested or charged in Japan for creating and selling a modded APK of the game Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So from the article's description, it looks like these mods allowed people to either save time and money on the game, strengthen characters, and get items. So to me, that sounds different from the regular mods that you can find online right now on things like DBZ Space. Perhaps it was a mod that allowed people to get unlimited dragon stones for free or something like that. I'm not really sure, it's all speculation at this point, but it does sound a little bit more advanced than your average mods out there. In addition, the people who were arrested for making these modded game files were selling them online for a profit. In the last year alone, they made somewhere in the range of 200,000 to 6.5 million yen from these sales. Now, I know that's a huge range, but at the highest end of the range, 6.5 million yen is equivalent to about 57,000 US dollars, which is no small amount. So long story short, the people who are implicated in this story are not just regular Dokkan players looking to clear a few events faster. They were taking Bandai and Akatsuki's copyrighted IP, modifying it, and then selling it online for a profit, which of course is highly illegal. So I hope this video helped clear up some of the confusion that people had about this whole situation. I'm going to put a link to the original article in my description. You guys can go read it for yourselves and let me know about your opinions in the comments down below. But as always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me today. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.